Hello my friends, and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Ace Attorney Dual Destinies for the PS5. My name is the Flightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel, and today I don't know if we conclude the DLC case, which has been a lot of fun so far, but we are definitely closing in, and we have a very interesting witness to to ask questions of. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting day, that's for sure. Let's dive into it, shall we? Hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. Today is July 22nd, 1121 AM, District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Leave it to you to think of someone like Colin Ola, Mr. Wright. Well, she's the only one who knows all the answers, after all. I just talked to Pearls. She said Ola seems to be feeling fine. Now we have to try and figure out how Mr. Rhymes manipulated Ola. If we put Mr. Rhymes and Ola together, maybe we could get some kind of clue. And I can't forget about that strange set of print of Rhymes is either. Yeah. I really appreciate you trying to save Ola and me. I had no idea that Marlin hated Ola like that. I feel like I've been shocked by your torpedo ray. Of course, you would hit that killer well. That money is covered right in front of him. Oh, Mr. Plume, you've been watching the trial? Yeah, where did you come from? Oh, yes, I came to make a declaration of war. A declaration of war? No matter what the results of today's trial, I will report the truth in my new book. Even if that truth goes against what I vote in the killer killer whale. I don't know what the truth is. I mean, about what happened a year ago. Dr. Crab? Azura died right in front of my eyes. In the middle of a pirate show. She suddenly fell from the orca's back and began to thrash around in pain. The orca was singing a song. And then started headbutting Azura over and over. Finally, the orca took Azura in her mouth and brought her to the side of the pool. Just before she died, Azura was holding her chest in obvious pain. She was holding her chest? Wait a minute. Could it be? I don't think Ola was to blame for the incident a year ago either. Really? What? I think the cause of Miss Summers' death might have been her heart condition. Oh. Her heart condition? What heart condition? I never heard anything about it. Miss Summers had a prescription with Hickfield Clinic for a heart condition. The orca didn't kill her. I think it's possible her heart condition did. What? Zura had a heart condition too? I guess she hid it from everybody. Just like I did. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't hide this stuff. Huh? Well, the ex made a So that means... The orca was innocent a year ago, too. It's just a theory, a game theory. Oh, <clears throat> but I think the orca had but Azora to check on her. And then, Dot did the lifesaver trick to rescue her. So there was no need to put the orca down after all. So, uh, you really did intend to put Ola down? No, Jack and I. We were against such a thing from the start. Oh, but you said you were going to euthanize the orca. But yeah, I've been wondering about that. Dr. Crab, about this capsule. It's not a poison, but a sleeping drug, right? Well, that's right. Even if we'll attack someone, or even if the Center for Dangerous Animal Control demands she be put down, I never had any intention of killing her. I would use the sleepy pills to make it look like she was dead, and well, then I would set her free. What a guy. I really love Dr. Crab. I mean, he loves penguins, and he's a good man. I, 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 I dig this guy. That's why I purchased so many sleeping capsules. Oh, that's why. Ah, I never considered the possibility that that poor woman's death was illness. 
She seems pretty disturbed to be wrong. <sighs> I simply want to know the truth. That is why I will tell you who my client is. The day I witnessed my owner's death, I was there at the request of the animal keeper. Wait, Marlin? Marlin rhymes? Well, that is correct. That day, my client called me to ask to, to investigate the orca poo. He, he must have wanted you to witness what Ola was going to do. Well, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I don't know why I'm surprised by this. That makes perfect sense. Why did you decide to tell us this? My desire to protect my client was standing in the way of the truth, and I could not allow that. I will be watching to see how this all unfolds. Good luck to you, blue and yellow duo. Well, that was quite a bombshell she just dropped, and so casually too. That woman really is a free spirit. Uh, do you remember what you said yesterday, Mr. Lawyer? Well, that you'd expose any secret would help save Sasha. I remember. It's my duty as a lawyer. Well, I just wanted you to know that I don't blame you for exposing the acquired secret. It may have put me in hot water, but if it helps save the orca, well, let me clue you in on another secret. Focus on the orca song. The orca song, huh? What could he be hinting at? Oh, Mr. Wright, looks like it's time. All right, let's go back in. You got it, boss. We're gonna go in there and save Sasha and Ola together. It, this is gonna be so weird. July 22nd, 1130, District Court Courtroom number four. The court will now reconvene. Is the witness Ora Shipley, commonly known as Ola, ready? Well, the orca is present, but I highly doubt she understands what's going on. Wee! Wee! Oh, just as adorable as yesterday. <laughs> I distinctly remember you being afraid of her on several occasions. But now then, Mr. Wright, how do you propose to cross examine the witness? I intend to have the young lady there with the Orla help me. Uh, hello everyone. Well that young lady? Didn't I meet her once before a long time ago? She looks vaguely familiar. Yes, that's Pearl Fay, my old friend. Well, well, did she grow up to be a lovely young lady? Yeah. <laughs> I love that, it's so funny. I have no interest in this chit-chat. On with the cross-examination. I mean, Mr. Wright, this is all your fault. Why are you dawdling? How is this my fault? The court will now hear the testimony of Ora Shipley. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of tweets. How Ola was manipulated. That. Very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> All the dots. <laughs> Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Do you seriously intend to cross-examine the worker? Well, she is a key witness for the defense after all, sir. Uh, every time you come to my courtroom, you open my ways to new. You open my eyes to a new way of thinking. It appears this will be another one of those times. Yes, he's giving me the go ahead. I now like to put the witness and Mr. Rhymes together to see how he manipulate the orca. Hopefully, Orla will have some kind of reaction. Ah, fine by me, but not what happened, I tell ye. M Mr. Rhymes is right. Nothing happened. I guess I shouldn't have expected it to be so easy. Hmm, how did he manipulate her? Right to know. I hope you realized.
that if you can't prove with this cross-examination how Rhymes controlled the orca, your defendant will be declared guilty immediately. Oh, the dots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know, I know. I, I realize that. Uh, this is my last chance. I had to figure out how Rhymes commanded Ola to do her tricks. Well, if you, you, you may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Is I don't know how you're gonna cross-examine a, a, a bunch of freaks, but you may begin your examination nonetheless. And uh, may God have mercy on your soul. How almost manipulated. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's just start with a bunch of hold it. Miss Shipley, I'm afraid free, free, free. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, alright. Oh, that is just so good. I'm afraid free, free, free is not going to get us anywhere. Huh. This is your plan of action. If you aren't capable of interpreting Orca's speech, this entire exercise is folly. You leave the interpretation of Ola's heart to me. All right, girl. What have you got to say? Let me hear it. Uh, oh, Ola, you're so cute. Ah, right to know. Surely you don't intend to continue this farce. I do. Miss Shipley, please continue with your testimony. Could you interpret that for the court, Miss Sykes? Aww. I'm getting a strong feeling of happiness. Maybe she likes doing the show. I demand serious witness testimony. This is no time for funny games. If you continue this fuckery, I will subject you to 40 lashes with a wet fish. Wet fish? Not a wet noodle. That just sounds fishy. <laughs> Hey, speaking from experience, anything is better than 40 lashes from a wet. The defense will please caution this witness to conduct herself with propriety. Hold it. Um, instead of impersonating a one orca band, could you show us a lifesaver trick? I guess Ola won't do what you want unless you give her the proper signal. Oh, doesn't Ola sing beautifully? Huh. Tucker's singing voice is much more melodic and clear. Y'all should form a band. We'll get Rifle, like, on the drums. Uh, Taka can be the screecher. And, uh, Orla will be the fweeter. We'll call it the screecher, the fweeter, and the... Rifle? Okay. The name is a work of progress, but still, a three-person, uh, band, or three-animal bands is, like, a lot of fun. Oh, and don't forget, we got the, uh, the little guy, Sniper. Uh, Sniper can be like, um, I don't know, give him, like, little tiny symbols. And I'll hop up and down and, like, just go bing, bing, bing. Matt, neither one of us, neither one should quit their day job. Please continue your testimony, Miss Shipley. Hold it. Hmm, Miss Shipley seems to want to communicate something. Perhaps she's hungry? Miss Faye, could you give Miss Shipley a snack? Certainly. One moment. Aww. What a heartwarming scene. It reminds me of my granddaughter with her pit. 
Wow, your granddaughter must have a pretty large pet. Stop all this pet prattle and get on with the cross examination. Why she's such an adorable creature? I never get tired of looking at her. Silence. I, on the other hand, have had my more than fill of this tomfoolery. Enough is enough! Sounds like Pop Skid Black Hole is about to blow his top. Um. I don't really see the point of continuing the cross examination. I, I don't see the point. I, I really don't. Just gonna freak a bunch at us. I'm done playing games. I will now explain how Ola was manipulated by Mr. Rhymes. In order to respond to a command, Ola needs to hear the sound of a whistle. But Mr. Rhymes isn't a trainer. I doubt he know how to get the signals himself. So that means he must have had help. So how did Mr. Rhymes issue commands to Ola? Oh, there's only one way, and that's with a whistle. Ola performs one trick per signal. I mean, it's the whistle. Take that! I'm wary of this comedy of errors. Your baldness, please bring down your hammer of justice. Hmm, I agree the evidence seems patently wrong. What? What? I enjoy the comedy of errors, but still, but I must give you a penalty, Mr. Wright. What? Huh. No verdict yet. Rhymes isn't a trainer. I doubt he know how to give Ola signals with a whistle himself. So that means he must have had help. I better rethink this. What should I do? Should I continue the cross? Yeah. And we need a piece of evidence. But what is the evidence? Wait, wait, wait. In order to respond to command, Ola needs to the sound of a whistle. But he doesn't know how to do the whistles. Uh, it sh can apparently also be used to broadcast inside the aquarium. The show's song. Did someone play back the whistle? Oh, someone's boyfriend has videos of her using a whistle to make the orca do tricks. He did play back. He used his girlfriend, his dead girlfriend, to do the tricks. Okay, got it. I believe so. Yep, got it. Sasha told me an interesting story about Miss Summers. Helps if I read the evidence. <laughs> Azura used to send her boyfriend videos of herself teaching the orchid tricks. I used to help Azura take the videos on her TV phone. Most likely, Mr. Rhyme still has his videos of Miss Summers. Miss Faye, could I ask for your help? Uh, of course, Mr. Nick. What is it? You're using Mr. Rhymes' TV phone, correct? I'd like you to examine it for me. Please look for videos of Azora Summers issuing whale commands to Orla. Um, uh, videos? I'm not too sure how to do that, but I'll give it a try. My apologies to Marlin. Right to know. What are you up to? You'll see in a moment. If Pearls can find those videos for me. Come on, Pearls. Mr. Nick, I found them. I found some videos like you described. You did? Thank you, Miss Faye. Just as I suspected. How did Marlon Rhymes get Ola to do those tricks? I will now show you. With Mr. Rhymes' cell phone. His cell phone? Are you implying he used an app? Miss Faye, see if you can issue Ola a command. Uh, me? Can I do such a thing? You might be able to if you play a video with the whistle signal in it. If there's a video of the lifesaver trick, please play that. Before you do, though, please put the practice dummy in the pool. Oh, uh, the practice dummy? All right. Uh, and it goes. There. Uh, it sank to the bottom. Uh, now I'll play a video.
Oh, Ola's diving down, and he's straight for the dummy. Aww. Hey, what a smart girl you are, Ola. Aww, that's such a beautiful picture right there. I love that picture. The life saving trick was a complete success, Mr. Nick. Thank you, Miss Faye. You're a big help. Now I have proof. Ha! <laughs> Unbelievable! You actually pulled it off. Well, that was the life saving trick we saw yesterday. Is Miss Faye an orca trainer now? No, Your Honor. I'll explain after we try one more trick. Now, let's see if we command Orla to do the singing trick. Miss Faye, there's a video of the singing trick. Please play that. Uh, certainly. Uh, let's see. I is it this video? Ola, you are adorable. Oh my, isn't she wonderful? That was a swashbuckle spectacular song. Aww. Pearls, you're adorable too. There's just too much adorableness in this case. Between Orla's and Pearl and Penguins, it's like oversaturation, which is amazingly adorable. And then also with, of course, the One Piece uh, pirate Marlin and... Ah, it's just so good. Ho oh, ho, what a lovely singing voice. Huh. It wasn't bad. By the way, how did Miss V give the orca these commands? Marlon Rhymes has something on his phone that his girlfriend Azora Summers sent him. The videos of Miss Summers issuing commands to Ola with the whistle. If they have Ola listen to the sounds of the signals, anyone at all could command Ola. Oh my, anyone at all? Yes, I believe so, Your Honor. All they would have to do is play those videos. Mr. Ray, please submit those videos as evidence. I'm getting the sinking suspicion the judge just wants to try it out for himself. <laughs> Miss Faye, could you send those videos to the TV phone here? Uh, all right, certainly. Got them. All right, I'll try playing one. Aww. So adorable. Aww. She is so beautiful. So this was a training session a year ago, huh? It sounds different though. Like I, I, I'm the uh the recording uh, of of Orla singing sounded different. But wait a minute, there's something about that song that bothers me. TV phone updated in the court record. Wait, is there's something that bothers you? Okay, so maybe I'm not alone in that. Like I said, the the Ola sounded different. The Ola can be command. The Orca can be command using videos on cell phone. Why did he sound different though? Well, that means that Mother Mimes could have manipulated the creature. Ah! Mr. Rhymes, you can't talk your way out of it now. Silence. Ha. <laughs> I have to commend you. That was very good proof. I could see Mother Mimes could have manipulated the orca. But isn't it true that the defendant could have done it as well? All she would have to do is use the whistle, the whistle she knows how to use so well. And she wouldn't have had to use those videos. Surely you admit it's a possibility. Well, surely you admit it's also possible the other way around too, right? And I know I said this before and I'll say it again. I'm the defendant. I just need to have some plausible doubt. It's not my job to say that she's fully innocent. 
It's just enough to say the possibility exists that someone else could have done it, which means she should be not guilty. It's the one thing that drives me crazy about Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney is all about being guilty and then he had to prove your innocence. When it's supposed to be, you're innocent until proven guilty. But still, I love these games. It's just a minor gripe I have. She could have easily had Norma Diplome witness the singing and the lifesaver trick. So he's trying to argue it was equally possible for Sasha as it was for Rhymes, is he? But is that true? Let me think about that for a minute. That's right. Those were just simple cries. It was singing. As I approached the pole, the killer whales suddenly started singing. It kept headbutting while it sang the swashbuckler spectacular. Wait, whoa, 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 we can't do that. It can't do that. It can only do one trick at a time. The culprit made sure Mr. Plume heard the song and saw the lifesaver trick. Could Sasha have shown these two tricks to the witness? Uh, how do I word this? She couldn't have. The, uh, Ulva can't do two tricks. No, I don't think Miss Buckler could have created the same conditions as a culprit. You challenge me to a battle. I hope your sword is sharpened. Let me see those sword skill of yours. Don't you worry. My sword is drawn and ready. My sword is evidence that the two tricks couldn't have been shown at the same time. We had to have something in here that... Okay. Yep. Right there. I didn't even have to go far. I, I was about to say, there has to be some clue that says she can't do two tricks at once. Take that! Mr. Plume said in her testimony that she witnessed these two tricks at the same time. However, the fact is inconsistent with how Ola performs tricks. How Ola performs tricks? What are you talking about? Ola can't perform two tricks at once. She performs only one trick per whistle signal. That's how she's been trained. Hmm, in other words, it would be just like uh, with the dog. If you tell him to both sit and shake, he won't do them at the same time. Am I understanding correctly? I don't know if that's true or not. I don't have a dog. Can someone confirm to me if a dog can't do two tricks at once? Oh yeah, that's the idea, Your Honor. I wonder if the judge has a dog. <laughs> what a farce! So, are you seeing that the witness somehow managed to produce an impossible scenario? Arr, the creature's own trainer. Can it do it? Then how could I? Hmm. Yes, it's a mystery, isn't it? It's also a mystery that you're eating a fish when you said you're a vegetarian, you lying son of a gun. But boss, you don't have to agree so cheerfully. The defense is claiming that Marlon Rhymes manipulated the orca. But if you cannot explain fully how this was done, your argument doesn't hold water. If you can't straighten out your own theory, would you like me to straighten it you out? Um, no thank you. Hmm, so Ola couldn't do two tricks at a time, but Mr. Plum saw her do it. This logical inconsistency means there's a flaw somewhere. Was Mr. Plum lying? Or is it not true that Ola can't do two tricks at the same time? But Mr. Plum had no reason to lie about such a thing. Is it really, if it really is impossible for Orla to perform two tricks at once, then maybe either the lifesaver trick or the singing trick was faked. Faked? Yes. Maybe Orla only performed one of the tricks. Isn't there, um, this thing here? I read this earlier. Use the broadcast inside the aquarium. So couldn't you have used this to play the song? While Orla did the trick here. But it was made to look like she performed too. Silence. I could just put your phone up to it. Maybe. How do you expect to conduct a sword battle with conjecture? Oh, sounds like I better present some evidence here and fast. 
Although I'm concerned about your profuse swearing, Mr. Wright, allow me to ask you. Wait, what did I swear? What did I swear? Oh, sweating. <laughs> wow, that, that, it's amazing how one letter can change the meaning of a sentence. Uh, I'm confused. I'm concerned about your profuse sweating, Mr. Wright. Let me ask you. Which of the two was fake? The lifesaver trick or the sing trick? It was, uh, it was not both. It was the song. It wasn't both because Ola well, actually did one. The defense was to argue that the singing trick was faked. And on what grounds did Mr. Cersei that the singing trick was faked? The walkie-talkie question mark? I, I, I wish I had a better way to explain this. Take that! Well, that item proves the singing trick was faked? No, Your Honor. This piece of evidence will not prove that. In other words, this piece of evidence is a fake-out. Oh! And if this evidence is a fake-out, then the singing trick was a fake-out as well. Boss, I don't think that makes any sense. Momentum is key at times like these, Athena. Well, I can hear uh, every word you say, Mr. <laughs> that was amazing. I am so glad I got that wrong. Because that was absolutely amazing. I love that so, so dang much. I'm so confident it was the singing trick that was faked. Yeah. Was it somebody looking at something and saying the song's worth? Oh, Miss the Plume said that. I ask you once again, Mr. Wright. And on what grounds? Oh. Is it the, the show song video is different. This one. Take that. Okay, we got there eventually. This is a recording of a recent swashbuckler spectacular. In this recording, Ola sings the same song she sang for Miss Faye earlier. But Mr. Plume said this song is different from the one that was sung a year ago. Yeah, the song is different? Please listen to the song in the video from a year ago sent to the cell phone. Very different. But that definitely sounds like Orla. So, is there like a corrupted video in that other one? Like, maybe the, maybe the video was edited? To... Why would it be edited? I, I just got the feeling there's something wrong with that video. And even Phoenix says something, so I'm really thinking there is. But I don't know what is. Why would you edit the video? Hmm, yes. Sounds quite different from the song Ola sang for Miss Faye earlier. And yet, this is the same video Miss Faye used to issue the command Ola to sing. By having Mr. Plume listen to the song recorded in the cell phone video, the true culprit made Mr. Plume think Ola was singing the song from a year ago. Only Mullen Rhymes, the owner of the cell phone videos, could have done this. Silence! But, Mr. Plume said she heard the orca singing right in front of her. How do you claim he made her think that? How was the song recording played? I intend to explain that too, of course. What? The answer lies somewhere in the orca pool, visitor's corridor. Marla Rhymes played the song recording by using this. Oh, 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 I see it. This, up here. Take that. I was like, what is he talking about? And then I remember what I said earlier about the, uh, the broadcast. Mr. Plume heard the song while she was in the Orca Pool Visitor's Corridor. There's a speaker in that corridor so that visitors can hear the Orca sounds. Okay, so I am right about what I said earlier, just in the wrong order, which, I mean, that's typical flightless bird in Ace Attorney, I guess. And he claimed this song was played for the speaker. How? 
Here's how Vines play this song. Yeah. Now it's the walkthrough. Take that. Like I said, order of operations. I just did it in the wrong order. I knew what I wanted to say. I just didn't know how to say it. Mr. Rhymes could broadcast the song in the video to speak by using a walkie-talkie. And you could get Ola to do a trick by letting her hear Miss Summer's whistle signal, too. He played the singing through the speaker, and he made Ola do the lifesaver trick. All of this was the doing of the true culprit, Marlon Rhymes. Yeah! This is what you did, isn't it, Mr. Rhymes? You did it! Now we can save both Sasha and Ola. Just leave it to Captain Red Swatchback and Lois to in any case. <laughs> I don't remember agreeing to that name. So it actually was possible for Mr. Rhymes to manipulate the worker. I'm stunned. I see we'll need to hear more from this witness. Mr. Rhymes, the time has come for you to tell the court the truth, the actual truth. Not that nonsense you've been spewing. Yeah. <laughs> chop, 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 chop. So I used the walk talkie, you see? Arr, sorry, but you did wrong, Buckle. It'd be impossible, says I. What do you mean, impossible? I shall sing a little shanty this new scurvy theater. I hear clear well now. Oh, he's bouncing back and forth now. Look at this. The dissing of Phoenix. <laughs> oh, this kid says everything. This is amazing. No, he's just like bouncing back and forth too. Yo, walk talking before for real. Mr. Lloyd's freestyle got no appeal. Both before the blue on the scene. Both before I could ever dream. Legit through during cleaning time, I have a few second lawyer spinning the lies. That orca, you don't listen to me. Kill the cat. Yo, yo, so crazy, crazy. Uh, here we go again with that flip to that music. <laughs> uh, I know I'm not done with the case yet, but I just need to say, I don't know if this is the best case in the series, but dang, it's been entertaining. It has been so much fun. Oh, I can't. I'm, I can't wait to see how all the other cases stack up against this one. Because this is just, this is just fun. I mean, it may not be heavy hitting with uh, drama and Phoenix and Apollo and his mom and all of that. But man, this case is fun. Broken? Of all the flimsy excuses, Bill sucking? That was uncalled for. You probably book it on purpose after the fact. Arr, that being truly lassie. Though I can't prove when it really was. Lucky be it for me. You'll always be the ones who had the proving to do. Actually, no, that's his job. I keep saying that. That's not my job. That is not my job. Ugh, oh, after everything we've uncovered, he still won't admit it. Somehow I have to prove that he still could have done it. You know what he reminds me of? All right, let's play Legend Dragoon. Because Legend Dragoon, the, the monsters, like, dance to the music. And that's kind of what I feel here. Yo, walk and talk if you broke for real. Mr. Lloyd's freestyle got no appeal. Hold it. Mr. Rhymes, are you sure it was your walkie-talkie that was broken? But well, of course I'm sure. Although it doesn't have any name written on or anything. But you can't prove it, not me walkie talking now, can you? I'll never save Sasha this way. I had to figure out how we got a command to Orla. If Rhymes couldn't get a command of the Orla, your theory crumbles. Everything you've done will go up all in smoke. I be not on the prosecution side neither, mind ye. Defendant be innocent, says I. But either way, me walk the talk was broken and I be the truth. Arr. Book before the plume on the scene. Book before I could ever dream. Holding. Do you have some way of proving that statement? Silence. The burning of proof is on you. No, it's on you. Okay, I'm gonna stop with this now. 
If you can't do that, then we can end this cross examination right now. Ugh. Ahoy! Yo, yo! Yo, yo! Ho, ho! Proof that it be broke! Boy, you a joke! Like, give me the second, you gotta choke! Right, wanna press on every word? No judge gonna judge undeterred! You got butt to bring the pain or stop and walk away in shame! Burn! In what? Oh, he makes me so mad. We gotta come up with our own freestyle, boss. Let's get him back with evidence instead, shall we? Just no singing. When is please continue your testimony about the walk and talk and all your flip floppity stuff? Legit good during cleaning time, I have a bill second lawyer spitting them lies. You made a big blunder? What happened? Well, after I helped Sash with cleaning, I dropped by accident and broke it. You wish to see it? I still have it with me. Hmm, it does indeed appear to be broken. Haha, <laughs> with me walking, talking, broken, there'd be no way I could have done what you said. I couldn't have given the orca any commands. Oh, your walkie talkie book. Isn't that just so convenient? Mr. Rhymes, I think you broke it on purpose. Miss Liar, none of your false accusations, if you please. I broke it on perp I broke it on porpoise? What be your proof? Um uh, I don't have any proof. If his walkie talkie was broken, it throws a monkey wrench into my whole theory. When he let Pearls borrow his cell phone so casually yesterday, he must have already been confident I wouldn't be able to prove anything. Ha ha! You need to get me to agree that that pox or can be innocent. If something be not done about her, she'll get Sasha one day too. The orc can kill the captain and warp me. Huh. So you intend to continue to claim that the defendant is innocent, do you? But I won't stand for that. Now then, right to know. What's your next move? Your Honor, I would like to wave my finger menacingly at him. I mean, I would like to examine that walkie talk if you don't mind. Uh, certainly, here you are. Let's see if there's any way to tell when the walkie talkie was broken. If he gave order that command, then he could have broken it at that time. Oh, examining evidence. We haven't done this in a while. Yes, I know how to examine evidence. It's just been a while. Yes, a zoom in. Yep, triangle circle. Got it. It's been a while. Darn, it is broken. It doesn't seem to work. Wonder what would happen if I dump it. Hey, it's on old TV, you know? Please, don't break it any further. Let's keep looking. Yeah, we need to do a Wilbur thing here. You know, just bonk it. You know, that's that's a known way of fixing things. Give it a good kick. A walkie-talkie shaped like a sword. Pretty clever, but I don't see anything odd. Well, a sword walkie-talkie in and of itself is pretty odd, I guess. But let's keep checking it out. What are these? Bullet holes? When did bullets come into play? Huh? Look at these. They look like tooth marks. Oh, tooth marks. Okay, that's not what I thought they were. Hey, you're right. A bite this big. I wonder if it was Ola. Huh. Wait. A walkie-talkie with tooth marks? Didn't we hear a story like that just yesterday? I don't remember. Thank you for the flashback. Good timing for the flashback. It was a walkie-talkie as well used right up until the death. Oh yeah, look, there's, there's bites on there. In the middle of the show, the orca brought Azura up to the surface in her mouth. She left tooth marks in Azura's walkie-talkie. Captain said he always kept the walkie-talkie with me so he could never forget. So that's not his walkie-talkie, that's hers. Rhyme said this walkie-talkie was his, but could it be? Hey, <laughs> not, not about it, don't you agree? Arr, time to give it up, Mr. Liar. Forget the orca. Just say Sasha, says I. I can't do that. Now that I'm finally a lawyer again, how could I hold my head up if I made my client so miserable? Arr, a stubborn one, ye be. 
that orca, you don't listen to me, okay? Kill the cat, yo, yo, so great, great. There could have been some other way besides a walkie-talkie to issue the commands. Silence. Yes, the orca could have received a signal from the defendant's whistle. Is this a point you're trying to concede? Objection! No, that's not what I'm saying. Some other way besides the whistle. What a lawyer, black eyed samurai! Time for a feast on drive by! Sash legit, that's the truth. Orc is guilty, gotta admit! But that didn't rhyme. I tell you, be all the orc is doing. You know, belay all this bitch, I should diss you with some rat. Uh, I believe you've already been doing that. Hmm, we tried pissing him, but it didn't change anything. Oh, I don't know about that. The statements might not have changed, but the meaning of one of them may have. Really? You thought something? And that one statement just might be the breakthrough we need. So something about the walkie-talkie. Yo, walkie-talkie will be for you real. Book for before the plume on stage, before he could dream. That's a true statement right there. It was book before. Uh, cook during claim time, that's a lie. That orca don't listen to me, K. So it's gotta be the first one. Uh, the walkie talk can be booked for real. So we gotta present, um, the fake walkie talk. What would the fake walkie talkie be? Shipley's walkie talkie hasn't been found? His walkie talkie is missing. Yeah. So he carried that, he carried Azora's walkie-talkie on him. That's it. That's gotta be it. Objection! Woohoo! The walkie-talkie that the witness brought with him to court today may have been stolen from the victim, Mr. Jack Shipley. Ah, cream! He looked like a man of pirates, but there we are! According to the defendant's statement, Mr. Shibley talked to her on this walkie-talkie before his death. However, no walkie-talkie was found near the victim's body. Arr, me think some police just didn't look hard enough. Besides, the captain's walkie-talkie was broken, be that not right? So his walkie-talkie has not to do with mine. I'm not so sure that's true. The victim fell to his death. It's quite possible his walkie-talkie broke in the fall. You stole the walkie-talkie after the victim's death, didn't you, Mr. Rhymes? Silence. I will not allow such leading questions right to know. If you claim the walkie-talkie belonged to the victim, show me your evidence. Certainly. I plan on doing just that. Please look at these tooth marks here on the walkie-talkie. Uh, tooth marks? Ah, uh, yes, I see them. The victim's walkie-talkie was a keepsake that used to belong to Azura Summers, who died a year ago. These tooth marks were left by Ola when she carried Miss Summers in her mouth. Ah. Hmm. This is Mr. Shibley's walkie-talkie. Well, then Mr. Ryan's walkie-talkie is still unaccounted for, which means it could have used it to command the worker after all. And that's not all, Your Honor. The only one who could have taken the victim's walkie-talkie is the culprit himself. Arr! The fact that Marlon Rimes had the victim's walkie-talkie is proof that he murdered Jack Shipley. Yeah? 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 Sink me! <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Luria. What? He still won't admit it? Ah, this walkie talk me mine, says I. Then how do you explain the tooth marks on it? I've had many to run in with that worker myself. Arr. 
She bit me more than once. Me walkie talkie, too. Evidence of a fight is carved here into me body. My goodness, I can clearly see the tooth like scars in your skin. Is that like all the blood that comes out of them? What? Are those really scars from being bitten by Orla? Oh, yo, yo, ho, ho! You want answers? I got some, mate. The scars from Orla? Well, that's right. Them girl can put up a nasty fight. That orca bit me and left me scarred. I had a vet to forget, so I went in hard. So, Mr. Lori, I win just being frank and all I had. You get to plink. I can't let him run the show. I had to find a way to prove the walkie-talkie belonged to the victim. And you can forget about the fingerprints. I always keep me walkie-talkie clean and polished. This man had everything worked out before he even took the stand. But I won't give up. There has to be a way. Mr. Wright, I found something interesting. The tooth marks on the walkie-talkie. Notice anything funny about them? Funny? Funny how? Something is different about them compared to the other tooth marks we've seen. Really? Hmm, only one of the ones I remember on the practice dummy. So those seem to be about evenly spaced. It's just a tiny difference. It might not mean anything. Can I go back to the other picture, please? Right now, we need to consider every pus we can, no matter how small. Can I go back to the other picture, please? I would like to compare. If I can figure out what's different about the bite marks, maybe I could somehow prove Vimes walkie talkie actually belonged to the victim. Think, Phoenix. You can, do, you can turn everything around right here and now. Oh, we got Dana Mon. Time to review the facts we have so far. With the intent of killing Orla, Rhymes drained the show stage pool. But Rhymes failed to kill Orla, and instead he tried to pin Shipley's murder on Orla. In order to manipulate Orla, Rhymes must have used a cell phone and a walkie-talkie. But well, the walkie-talkie Rhymes has broken. Yeah, the bite marks are different, aren't they? Okay, I don't have the other one. But yeah, these, there seems to be like a gap on the, the, the bite marks to the left for some reason. Why is that? I think it's the victim's walkie-talkie, the one he kept as a memento of Azura Summers. I have to find a way to prove that it is indeed the victim's walkie-talkie. Which piece of evidence left on the walkie-talkie could prove it belonged to the victim? Ah, uh, the two marks. We have two pieces of evidence with tooth marks, the walkie-talkie and the dummy. Okay, they're side by side. Yeah, they're definitely different. But why? What's strange about these two pieces of evidence? Uh, the tooth marks are different. When I look closely, I see two different bite marks. Hmm, two variations, huh? Wasn't there a trick of Orla's that had two different variations as well? Ah, uh, the show song. A year ago, the orca's song and teeth marks were different from what they are now. What could be the cause of these two inconsistencies? What's beyond the fact that orca's tooth marks and song were different a year ago? New teeth grew in. It was... It was a different orca? I mean, it's probably not new teeth grew in because... If new teeth grow in, there would be an extra bite mark, not like a gap in the bite mark. Yeah, she learned a new song, but that doesn't explain the tooth marks. The only thing that explains both is it was a... But... <sighs> How? It does make sense, because when I, saw, when I heard that video, I was like, Ola sounds different. Maybe she sounded, maybe he sounded, maybe it's, uh, I don't know what pronoun the, the whale is. Maybe it sounded different because it was a different orca. Ah, that's crazy. But where did the other one go? Can 
there are two different orcas. I'm starting to think. There are two different orcas, the one a year ago and Orla now. And if the orca a year ago wasn't Orla, it means the bite marks on the walkie-talkie isn't Orla's, like Rhyme said it was. Now I can finally prove the walkie-talkie belongs to the victim. Wow, this case just keeps on giving. Oh my god, it's it just, ew, this is so good. Mr. Ray, you appear to be lost in thought there. Is anything alright? I, I just realized something astonishing, Your Honor. Your face is what's astonishing, right to know. Your rudeness is what's astonishing, Prosecutor Blackwell. <laughs> And what is this astonishing thing you realized? Until just now, I thought the orca at Ship Ship Aquarium a year ago and Ola were the same orca. However, two inconsistencies led me to a new fact. And that fact is that there might be two Orla or Shipleys. What? Two different orcas? But, but that's impossible! I know, it's it, it seems impossible, but sometimes... Oh, what is that quote? Oh my god, what is that quote? Ah, what is that quote? Hold on, hold on. I, I know Sherlock Holmes said it. Um, impossible... Um, impossible must be true. What is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, when you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. That. That. Order, order in the court. Explain yourself. What is the basis for this preposterous claim? The orca show song a year ago and the one now are different. I believe it's because the orca a year ago was a different orca. Two different orcas, two different songs. It explains the show's co the show song contradiction. Hey, what would it be this bill's rotted tuck? I don't understand. I'm talking about the truth. Truth that will finally catch you out in your lies. You claim that the tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were Ola's, but that's not true. Two different bite mark patterns on the walkie-talkie and the dummy prove this. What? Two different patterns, you say? Silence. While I can see, there's a possibility that two different orcas exist. Bite mark patterns alone, so not proof enough. I want more conclusive evidence. All right, I will show you conclusive evidence then. So he wants to see evidence other than the bite mark patterns, does he? The orca a year ago, and all I have different songs and different teeth. Don't I have two videos on hand that can be used to compare these differences? I will now submit two videos with just the different songs and teeth can be compared. All right, well this has to be one. And here is the other. What's the other one? The TV phone? Take that. Please compare these two videos, one from a year ago, one recent. As discussed, the two orcas are singing two different songs. Please pay so special attention to the appearance of two orcas' teeth. How exactly do you claim the teeth are different? Well, let's look for shots in the two videos where the orcas' teeth are shown. This is Ola in the recent video of the Swashbuckler Spectacular Pirate Show. As you can see, she has all of her teeth. What a healthy smile she is! I'm a bit envious. Next, let's take a look at the TV phone video from a year ago. Oh, right! Look, she's missing a tooth! Just as I thought, the teeth are different. Oh, look at that! So what he saw, he saw the tooth missing. I heard the song. We, we saw two different things, but still, we got the same answer eventually. Oh, I believe this smile looks a little different than one saw a moment ago. Well, as you can see, the orca, orca from a year ago has one tooth that's broken off. And if the teeth are different, then... Yes, if the teeth are different, they are, of course, the different bite mark patterns. On the practice dummy, you can see Ola's uniform pattern with all teeth intact. And though on the walkie-talkie, you can see that one tooth is missing from the pattern. Why'd that be more than five teeth? Anyway. I see it, just like the smell of the worker in last year's video. 
The tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were not made by the orca we know as Orla. They were made a year ago by a different orca. Ah, it's two different orcas? I can't believe it! The statement that the tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were from Orla was a lie. The truth is, this walkie-talkie was stolen from the victim, Jack Shipley. And the only person who could have stolen it is... The true culprit, Marlon Rhymes! Breakdown? Breakdown? Please give me an epic breakdown. No! You got it all wrong! Hey, Bio! The fault of that orca! Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa, huh? Arr! Get along! Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Blimey! It'd be the orca's fault! This can't be! Arr! Arr! Not the most over the top breakdowns from the defendant, but the whole rocking of the ship is amazing. Ah, once again, I'm too weak to help anybody. No one needs your kind of help, punk bastard. Well, it would appear that, uh, now we should hear more from the defendant about Aura Shipley. Why do we need to hear more? Isn't it obvious this case is over? Sasha Buckler. Yes, Captain Judge. Is what Mr. Wright claims to be true? Are there two different orcas? Oh, okay. He's he's asking her about if okay, I I understand. I I uh the secret that Ship Shape Aquarium was hiding was about Ola, wasn't it? Dr. Crab told me to focus on Ola's song. He hinted it would be a clue. And that's what I picked up on. Ah, Phoenix is right. The one we call Ola is the second Ola Shipley. There actually used to be two orcas at Ship Shape Aquarium. I used to call the first Ola Shipley just Ola for short. Ola and Ola are sisters. That's why she's called Ola. That makes a whole lot more sense now. Captain rescued them both when they got beached on the shore. But Ola was in bad shape and the ship's doctor had to look after her for a long time. Both orcas love the captain, so we decided to keep them on at Ship Shape Aquarium. Why? Did you say anything about there being two orcas? Well, because... Well, after the accident a year ago, Orca was... Aura was put down. What? Aura is dead? Yeah. The Center for Dangerous Animal Control demanded it. Apparently, the captain the ship's doctor begged them. We put the first one down, so please leave the second one alone, they said. Anyway, after the accident a year ago, the captain told us he was going to put Aura in the pirate show as Aura Shipley. He asked us to keep quiet about Ola's death until time was right. Hmm. What a surprising and complex tale. Did all ship shape aquarium employees know about this? No. Just select few of us. Mr. Rhymes, did you know about it? I, of course not. How would I? Tell me, Mr. Rhymes. Did you plan on killing Ola from the start? Kind of sad because his whole entire plan didn't matter because the, the, the killer whale that he was angry at is already dead. Well, yeah, I planned to do it during the cleaning, so I drained the poo. I figured if I didn't do something about that beast, Sasha's life was in danger. Sasha trusted that orca just as much as Azura did. I wanted to protect her. I couldn't help Azura, so I felt like protecting Sasha was the least I could do. No, it was my duty. I built my strength so I'd be ready to kill the orca. I even fought with sharks. Okay. But the captain realized my plan and tried to save the orca. And that is why you killed Jack Shipley. Ah, now the report from the crime lab finally makes sense. Report from the crime lab? You hiding evidence? You 
dirty little cheat? In court yesterday, you will recall, I showed a photo of the victim lying on his back. According to the lab, the bruise on the victim's right wrist was Rhymes' handprint. His handprint? You had this evidence all along? I didn't know how to fit in this case until I heard Rhymes' story just now. But now, we can imagine the reason for it being there. Rhymes must have made the handprint when he fought with the victim over the orca. A handprint made during a struggle? I don't care what happens to me anymore. I deserve the death penalty. I'm the one that killed the captain. Please get Sasha a not guilty verdict. Heh. <laughs> you accept your defeat well, I see. Let me be your guide to hell. Get on with the verdict, you baldness. Hmm, it seems it's unprecedented trail that being with an orca once is defended. Has finally come to a close. Sasha is saved. Ola is going to be so happy. Oh. Uh, what's wrong, Phoenix? Sasha's not guilty verdict is coming. Why do I still have this strange, nagging feeling? Rhyme's handprint on the victim's right wrist? Was it really the result of a deadly struggle over the orca? I can't shake the feeling. That handprint has some other meaning. Is it possible that Rhymes grabbed the ladder and was trying to pull Shipley up and he wasn't successful? That's why he said he didn't have the strength. He couldn't pull up the captain and so the captain fell. Was the captain's death actually an accident after all? Is this trial going to end without revealing the whole truth? Because because the handprint has him like leaning over the ladder, right? Very well. This court finds the defendant Sasha Buckler. Hold it! Oh, look at his eyes glare. Everyone is shocked right now. Like, whoa! What are you doing, Phoenix? Your Honor, please hold off on that verdict. Mr. Ray, what's the meaning of this? I would like to further explore this new evidence the prosecution just submitted. But what complaint could you have? You are about to get your not guilty verdict! I see no need to further prolong this trial, Mr. Wright. Your Honor, we still don't know the entire truth of this case. This unnatural handprint Mr. Rhymes left on the victim's right wrist. I don't think it was a result of a fight between the two men. Not the result of a fight? Ah, then what do you suggest it was? Boss, what are you doing? Do you remember the evidence we found at the show stage? Evidence? What evidence? That mysterious mark might be the key to understanding this whole case. Your Honor, the defense would like to submit evidence that will expose the truth of this case. A mysterious piece of evidence that pairs with Mr. Rhymes' unnatural hammer. It's the, uh, the ladder. Marla Rhymes left behind a very unusual set of fingerprints at the show stage. In what way are they unusual? They were right hand prints on the left side of the ladder. If one were to grasp the ladder in the same way as a prince, it would look like this. Yeah, that's exactly what I've been thinking. Hmm, it looks like the ladder is being grasped from above. Exactly, Your Honor. And the handprint on the victim's right wrist shows it was held with a powerful grip. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Muller Rhymes grabbed the show stage ladder in a natural pose. If he was gripping the victim's wrist in this position. Gripping the victim's wrist? Then then he must have been. It means Mr. Rhymes was actually. That's right. If we can pull the natural handprint with the mysterious fingerprints. Was trying to save his life. We see that Marlon Rhymes was trying to save the victim's life. What? Yeah, that's why he didn't have the strength. It's Oh, this is beautiful. But, but that can't be. It's impossible. 
Why don't we ask Mr. Rhymes himself? Yeah. I, uh... Mr. Rhymes, we want to hear the truth directly from you. Huh. I gotta hand it to you, Mr. Lawyer. You got skills. Why? Why do you have to figure it out? It doesn't matter what happens to me anymore. I'm ready to die. So is what the defense is claiming true? Ah, the captain. He found out that I drained the show stage pool. He rushed to the side of the pool, fanned it to put some water in for the orca. And then, you slipped. Captain, give me a left hand! No, Mullen! You'll fall too! Forgive me, Marlin. I didn't realize what deep pain you were in. But please, please don't blame Orla. It's nobody's fault. Not Orla's, and not yours. Hey! Oh, Captain! Ah, oh, it's tragic. So, uh, Jack Shibley's death was accidental. Why didn't you tell us that you didn't kill the victim? Ah, because I have no right to live anymore. I'm ready to get the death penalty. The captain died because of me. Then on top of it all, I used his body to frame Orla. I was gonna kill Orla and she wasn't even to blame. She didn't do anything wrong. The only one thing I can do now is pay for it with all my life. Can't do anything. I couldn't save the captain. I couldn't avenge Azura's death. Mr. Rhymes, you have the wrong idea about Miss Summer's death. Not even the first Aura Shipley was responsible for her dying. Or her own accord was trying to save Miss Summer's life. What? What are you talking about? Azora Summers suffered from a heart condition, but she didn't tell anyone and she performed in the pirate show anyway. She had a heart attack and died before anyone could save her. I'm sure she didn't think or attacked her. There's nothing to avenge. No way! A heart condition? She never said a word about it! Maybe she didn't want you to worry about her. So I wanted to get revenge all this time for nothing. Mm -hmm. So neither case was murder. Not a year ago and not this time either. Your responsibility in this matter is great, but I believe you can be rehabilitated. Marlin, you better come back to Ship Ship Aquarium when you're done, you hear? Why would you want him back? All and I and everybody will be waiting for you. Wow, she's got a heart of gold. You still have a lot to offer, Mr. Rhymes. Live your life and never give up. For the sake of those who are gone as well. I, I promise to make up for what I've done. Even if it takes me my whole life. Mr. Wright, Sasha. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Well, I have seen countless trials, but never one ended like this. I don't think we've ever had a trial end where there was no murder. I don't know how, Mr. Wright, but you always seem to manage to turn things around. Well, I mean, no murder like this ended. You know what I mean? I think all this excitement has taken a few years off my life. <laughs> Is that praise or a diss? Well, now then, this court finds defendant Sasha Buckler. Not guilty. Ah! 
Aww. <laughs> He's just staring at us. Court is now adjourned. Oh, what a great! Oh God, what an ending! July twenty second, five eleven p.m. Ship shape Aquarium. Wow, we're not in the um the courtroom, or pool. Congratulations on your win! Thank you for all your help today, pearls. Hey, all I did was have fun with Ola. Aww. Ola, I'm back. Oh, I missed you, girl. Oh, I'm so happy for you and Ola, Sasha. Everything turned out great. Phoenix, Athena, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Ola and I are both really grateful. I will now act out my gratitude with a little performance. Ah! Uh, Miss Orca Lover, don't you think you better take care of your health first? Alright, fine, I promise. No more shows until I'm better. I don't want anybody to worry about me after all. Ah, uh, good. I'm glad that's settled. Oh, look at Sniper. Hey, buddy. Mr. Lawyer. You just had a blab every single one of the Quam secrets, didn't you? I'm sorry, Dr. Crab. That's all right. I'm glad. It was kind of hard to tell. Hello, thanks to you, they now know why we're using legal torpedo system. But I think we'll be able to wriggle out a serious repercussion somehow. Well, that writer lady is advocating for us, saying the law itself is to blame. She said she's going to look into getting the law changed. Wow. Go, Mr. Boom. Sure is a powerhouse. Well, there's one thing you didn't figure out, by the way. Keep this to yourself, will you? We don't want it getting out publicly. Remember that appointment I had written down in the calendar? Oh, you mean meet the captain at the Orca Pool at 7 a.m.? Well, that note meant the Orca Pool the Supermarine Aquarium, not Ship Shapes. What? Why are we supposed to meet there? Well, Jack and I, we visit the Supermarine Aquarium once a month. Any idea why? Um, to get dolphin therapy? Oh, no. Oh, my God. That's where the other aura is. Or is at that aquarium. Isn't she? He, it, whatever. No, silly. They're sisters. They're sisters. The bullshits. Right. Flightless. Get a clue. Remember I told you? Jack and I were up against putting the worker down from the start. What? You mean? We just pretended to put the first aura shipley down. The submarine aquarium is harming her for us. What? Oh, so they talk about large amounts of money you were paying them. So the other whale is still alive? How about that? Everyone lives! Except for the cat. Sorry, Kevin, but everyone else lives! It's like the doctor from the... From the, uh, Are You My Mommy episode. Once a month, the owner and the vet disappear from this aquarium. And I came to find out that each time a large amount of money was being paid out. Oh, we were paying for Ora's care. You wouldn't believe how much fish orcas eat. But now that's proven that she was in so long, I can bring her back soon. Until then, keep it under your hat, okay? Oh, Ola's gonna be so happy. Huh? What was he telling you about? Oh, nothing much. By the way, Ola wants you to give her a little celebratory prize. Aww. Ola specifically requested that you give it to her, Phoenix. Ha ha ha, alright, fine. Let's see. What can I give her? Fish! Take that! Ola, it's coming in day late, but congratulations on your verdict. Yeah, give her food. Aww. Aww, look at this! Aww! God, I love this piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, hey, aren't you lucky? Haha, <laughs> that's Ola's best trick, the thank you kiss trick. Aww. Oh, Ola, I want to be next.
And so the curtain fell on my first trial in years. I'm looking forward to the comeback of Sasha and Ola's Swashbuckler Spectacular. After all, I made a comeback of my own as a lawyer. A few months later. Date all the question marks. Time all the question marks. Ship shape aquarium. Entrance. It's been a while since I visited Ship Shape Aquarium. Now that Sasha has recovered from her illness, she's performing today. There's still some time left before the show starts. I think I'll wander around a bit. Hi, Phoenix. Hope you enjoy the show today. The work is exciting, ready to go. Oh, I'm sure I'll enjoy. Wait a minute. Did you say orcas as a plural? Yep, let me show you. Aww. What? Two Ola's? Don't tell me. Yep, you got it right. Or Shipley the first has returned to Ship Shape Aquarium. Ah, we be the three pirate sisters. Ah, we be out to stop the evil Scalabag League, led by Vase Dash and the giant octopus. Well, I don't want to get in the way of the rehearsal. Guess I better go. Let me see Rifle again. Well, if it isn't the blue boy, did you come for my book signing? Oh, Mr. Plume. There's a book signing? Yes, my new book is just out. It's called Ship Shape Aquarium. Don't pull the plug. The book signing will be held here in this room after all the vet owes me a favor. Oh, yeah, she got them to prove the use of the torpedo. I'm so grateful. Aw. Why does she keep coming to my lab to bother me every single day? I think she likes you. My next work will be entitled, Sniper, the Penguin Leaves the Nest. Okay, maybe she doesn't like it. Maybe she just likes the penguin. Aww. Yay! Aww! It's so adorable! Guys, stop this cacophony! Why am I surrounded by carpet females? <laughs> Gee, Dr. Crab gets all the ladies. I guess I'll leave him to it. Oops, it's almost time for the show. Oh my god, Trucy's here too! Where have you been, Daddy? Polly and Athena already went in? Uh, while we were waiting, I, I bought some souvenirs to take back to the village. Sorry to keep you waiting. I bet they'll leave your love your souvenirs back home, Pearls. Uh, by the way, I hear a certain someone is going to be at today's show. A uh, certain someone? Wonder who it could be. Could it be Marlin? Oh, it's almost time. The show's just about to start. Alright, let's go to the show stage then! I saved you all seats, Mr. Wright. Well, family's here. How about that? Oh, I can't believe I get to see the show again. I'm so happy. I want to dive in the pool. You better not. I think they call security. You're welcome in the pool anytime, Athena. But Red Sash is the best swimmer of them all. Huh? Who we got playing Red Sash's role? Sasha! Oh, I got... Oh, yeah, and Ola, ready to go? I'm hoping it's, uh, Marlon, so I'm gonna give him this voice. Hey, I know that voice. Yep, you may know it. Marlin is back and is playing the role of Ed's Dash. All right! I be the new Swashbuckler Spectacular. Hope you enjoy it, me buckos. Ooh, can we get a um a scene of it? I, I don't want to end without a scene. Come on, give me a scene. Ah, they did it. Ah. And so. Our pirates set sail for bluer seas under a sunnier sky. As for me, I set foot into the world of law once more as a full-time lawyer. What a cool picture that is. Look at that. Can we not reclaim? All right. So let's go ahead and talk about what just happened and everything. Um, dang it, I don't have.
There we go. That's a cool picture. Right there. So let's go ahead and talk really quick about uh, what happened and what we think of this case. So, I think, I think this case was a lot of fun. I love this case. I thought it was a great time. It had a great story. Uh, it wasn't serious at all. So, I mean, it, there wasn't the drama of 1-4 or something like that. But it didn't need it. It, it felt like just, it, it, it was just fun. Yeah. I mean, you had the penguins, which I love. I love the penguins. The penguins were so much fun. You had the penguins. Uh, you had uh, the orcas. Orcas were cool. You had this awesome pirate theme. You had a transformation that we haven't seen since, what was it, 2-4? When the crazy guy, like, transformed and we found out that he was, like, a serial killer or whatever. Um, I, I mean, it, it, it's been a while since something like that happened. And it was absolutely amazing how that came to be. And then what's even more amazing is the fact that I didn't know who was guilty. And then once I knew who was guilty, I find out that Curveball, he wasn't guilty. And it was it was an unfortunate mistake. Um, it was an unfortunate accident. And and then at the end, everyone got together, and um, it all worked out. Uh, the aquarium is going strong. Everyone is happy. Uh, the the whales are back together. Uh, the torpedo system works. Uh, the penguins are healthy. I mean, just about everything about that ending hit strong. Except I would have loved to see one more cutscene. One more animated cutscene would have been amazing. But it's still... It, it was still amazing. This whole case was amazing. I don't have... I, I honestly don't have anything negative to say about this case. Um... Uh, I, 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 I don't need to say anything negative about this case. This case was fun. It kept me on my toes. I, it had wonderful scenes from... I mean, even Blackpool had those cool scenes when he was talking about the flightless bird. And how cool, you know, they are. I mean, that was a great thing, too, that I loved. Uh, the judge was funny, as always. The songs were fun. I, I think if you're not into the anime type world you may not have liked this case as much because it was definitely a lot more anime in this case than in previous cases but for me it was awesome it was awesome this was awesome this was so 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 much fun i just hope the rest of the cases are as fun as this case because my lord this case ruled all right with that said i'm gonna go ahead and take off I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day. Let me know what your thoughts are on this case. And let me know what you all think. Uh, uh, did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you think it was fun? Did you think it was not fun? Why did you think that? Why did you think it was great? I mean, I, I, well, I love to hear your thoughts. Because, I mean, that's what makes the game so much fun. When we could talk about the cool stuff we do. And, of course, if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Case number three, the actual case number three coming next time. And we're going to the Academy, right? Uh, but yeah, I'll see you then. Until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.